In Monster Hunter Wilds, you'll be able to bring two weapons of your choice with you on any hunt. One will be your currently equipped weapon, while the other will be stashed away on your mount. You'll be able to swap between them at will simply by hopping on your mount and switching weapons. In today's video, I want to go over what I think will be some extremely good weapon combinations, whether they share playstyles, have skill overlaps, or just give you some good options for different scenarios. With up to 105 possible combinations, today I'm going to choose just 9 that I really like, at least in theory, so far for Monster Hunter Wilds. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now we're of course going to start off with the combination that I am most excited to try when I get my hands on Monster Hunter Wilds, which is the Charge Blade and the Gun Lance. Now I've been a long time Charge Blade enjoyer, and it's of course looking very, very tidy here in Monster Hunter Wilds. Now, what I wasn't really expecting was just how incredible and fun the Gun Lance is looking to be as well. By choosing a raw impact file Charge Blade, you'll see incredible skill overlap with any shelling style of Gun Lance. Skills like Attack Boost, Artillery, Guard and Offensive Guard, and many more being shared between these two weapons, I just have to believe that they will play off of each other incredibly well. The guarding capabilities of both weapons offer a very diverse way to play, using things like guard points and perfect guards to chain into your strongest attacks. The impact files and gun lance shells are also generally unaffected by hit zones, they're not entirely but they are mostly, which will allow you to get guaranteed damage on even the toughest monster parts. This combination is likely going to be what I use for my first playthrough, and I think that mains of either weapon will enjoy the synergies offered between the charge blade and gun lance. Up next we have one that seems pretty obvious, at least to me, and this time we're going to lean less into raw attack options and more into the element side of things by using the bow and dual blades together. Both of these weapons scale extremely well off of elemental damage as they have rapid attack patterns and also tend to have stamina intensive combos that would greatly benefit from sharing stamina management skills. Things like constitution, stamina surge, even marathon runner as well as your obvious critical and elemental boosting skills will make these weapons feel incredible to swap between mid-hunt. Having dual blades for that close range, in your face, slashing, beat up the monster on knockdowns and traps will be nice, but you'll be able to swap and utilize the extensive ranged capabilities at both short and long ranges with the bow for something like monsters that might fly too much or have tendencies to do charging attacks where they run way past you, this will really make having this combination invaluable in the Forbidden Lands of Monster Hunter Wilds. Now this next one may come as a bit of a sleeper pick, but I think that Lance and Heavy Bowgun will actually work really well together. Having the Lance for when a monster is enraged and just beating down on you will allow for you to have incredible survivability as well as the ability to counterattack, but we all know that the Lance thrives on staying tight to the monster to allow for those counterattacks to connect. So by having a heavy bow gun, you will be able to maintain your shield for safety, so if you're used to guarding, you'll still have that, but you'll also be able to explore longer ranged combat. Again, if you have a monster that likes to fly when it's enraged or just fly in general for extended periods of time, this could be a really menacing combo. With overlapping skills like guard, as well as your critical and attack boosting skills, and even something like evade extender, I hope you guys can see why I think that these two will actually have a really solid harmony when you're out on a hunt. If you guys have a specific weapon combination that you're really looking forward to trying in wilds, do let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're pushing to hit the 20,000 subscriber mark before the end of the year, and this channel is of course going to be the best place for you to find guides, sets, tutorials, hidden facts, and much, much more when Monster Hunter Wilds finally releases. It's totally free to subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and you can always change your mind if you're finding the content just isn't for you. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into our next combination. Again, I'm thinking of skill overlaps here with Insect Glaive and Bow. Since Insect Glaive, especially the aerial attacks, can get very stamina intensive, and it can work well with Raw or Element, it should have a nice synergy with Bow at its side. Since Bow also no longer has its jumping arrow stab attack, having an Insect Glaive to help build up mount will also be an invaluable asset. Bow has some really nice mobility and good counters, but the movement options in all three dimensions that you have with Insect Glaive 
I think will really help to open up a lot of fights, allowing these two weapons to work perfectly together while hunting in wilds. The next combo is kind of a joke slash meme in the community right now, but I'm also kind of serious about it, and that is Hunting Horn and literally any other weapon. Even if you want to bring two Hunting Horns, I don't care. Hunting Horn and any of the other weapons will be a nice combo. We do know with 100% confirmation that the Hunting Horn buffs that you put on yourself and your allies will persist for their full time limit even if you switch to another weapon. Now I know that some people are worried about Hunting Horn being reduced to a must-have secondary just for buffs, but Hunting Horn is an extremely fun and powerful weapon, and I actually think that this change will get so many new hunters to try it, including some who wouldn't have given Hunting Horn a thought otherwise. Seriously though, if you haven't tried Hunting Horn, or if you have tried it just a little bit and it didn't really stick, definitely try bringing it alongside your main weapon here in Monster Hunter Wilds, because I think it'll grow on you quickly. Our next combo helps build into a very fun playstyle, and that is a light bowgun with a greatsword. Specifically, you'll want to bring a light bowgun that has sleep ammo. Since we do know that double damage wake up hits are going to be a thing in wilds, of course, being able to sleep the monster multiple times with a light bowgun, then do a massive TCS hit for the wake up, will definitely be a top-notch way to play through some hunts in Monster Hunter Wilds. This was something that wasn't easy to do when you were playing solo more than maybe once or twice in previous games, so having an opportunity to get off multiple sleep wake-up hits, again while hunting on your own, is just going to be a ton of fun. The seventh combination that I've selected today runs the hammer alongside any quick-hitting melee weapon, for example sword and shield, dual blades, or longsword. Now my thought process for this one is a two-parter. The first part is of course you can get a KO with a hammer, then you could swap to your other weapon and go into a perfect rush, a blade dance, or a helm breaker, and that's just too sick not to consider. However, secondly, a lot of monsters in the series have hit zones that are only weak to blunt and not cutting, or vice versa. For example, let's talk about Baroth. His head can only be broken by blunt damage, but you couldn't use a hammer to cut off his tail. Having a hammer to get the head break and KOs, then something like longsword to get the tail cut not only allows for more optimal damage across the hunt no matter where you decide to attack the monster, but running a combination like this could also get you more quest rewards, more carves, and more part breaks. I think that a lot of people are going to be running a combination like this, even you could go with a hunting horn instead of a hammer for that blunt option, so definitely be sure to give it a try when you finally get your hands on Monster Hunter Wilds. Another combo that I saw a lot of moveset synergy with is the Sword and Shield and the Lance. Lance has some new Shield Bash attacks that, much like the Sword and Shield Shield Bashes, can be used to build up stun on the monster's head. This will then give you the great tanking and counterattack abilities of the Lance, with the ability to have a quicker moving weapon with the Sword and Shield, where you can also do things like use items while it's unsheathed. If you're not huge on some of Lance's moveset, but you feel that you need some more guarding capability on a certain monster or hunt, you'll have that better guarding ability with the Lance, with a stronger shield than the Sword and Shield, and then you can swap to the Sword and Shield in areas of a fight that you're more comfortable with. Say a monster is enraged and is just too quick or aggressive for you to consistently dodge or block with the chip damage from your Sword and Shield, You'll have the powerhouse of counters and guards with the lance to help you still survive while getting to deal damage until you finally break through that enrage and you can get your combat flow back with the sword and shield. And to keep this video from being too long, our ninth and final combination is going to be the switch axe and charge blade, especially if the skill rapid morph does come back in Monster Hunter Wilds. Now fans of either weapon will already be accustomed to building gauge or storing files to charge up and store for a second mode of their weapon, so learning the other won't take too much more getting used to other than just the general weapon combos. As a switch axe or charge blade main you're already used to, okay I've got to charge my sword or my files, then I've got to use that and swap into the other mode to utilize them better, which will make the learning curve of the other weapon that much simpler. With Switch Axe having a parry and Charge Blade having perfect guards and guard points, you'll still be easily able to unleash counterattacks and guards to keep yourself safe with either weapon. I think that while the weapon's specific skills don't have a ton of overlap, 
The play styles and abilities of the Charge Blade and Switch Axe complement each other very well and will make for an incredibly fun hunting experience. Again, guys, with up to 105 possible weapon combinations, I'm merely scratching the surface here, and this is all in order to hopefully just give you guys some quick ideas for what else you can run alongside your main weapon in Monster Hunter Wilds. If you have any other combos that, again, you think would either work well together or two weapons that you think would be fun or goofy together, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's video or found it helpful, then a thumbs up is super appreciated. It's a totally free way to support the channel as well as share this video with other hunters. If you're new here, new to Monster Hunter, or you're just looking for some more great Monster Hunter Wilds content, then definitely consider subscribing. Again, like I said earlier, this channel is going to be the best place to find sets, guides, and much, much more for Monster Hunter Wilds, and the best way to make sure you don't miss that is by being subscribed. With all that being said though guys, I want to again thank you so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day, and happy hunting.